Hey y'all, Freshmet here from IBM Engineering. Today, I'm going to show you all how to add another dashboard tab in Doors Next. All you need to do is find the last dashboard in the row up top here and click the plus to the right of it. This will allow you to add another project dashboard. To rename this dashboard, simply double click over the name of new tab and I'm just going to throw in example dashboard. Click outside of it to save the changes and let's peer inside some of the features that are associated with this dashboard. If we click the little twisty to the right of it, we can see a whole bunch of options that pop up. We can see we can add widget, we can rename it, we can refresh it, copy the tab, duplicate the tab, delete it, and if we mouse over layover, we can select if we want one, two, or three columns. By default, it comes with three columns, and I'm going to leave it at that. We have three different ways that we can add widgets. We can either click on this link, this link, or we can go back up to the twisty and click on the add widget right there. And for some examples, I'm just going to add a few random widgets here so that I can show you all how to rearrange them. To move widgets exactly where we want to, all we need to do is mouse over the blue bar for a widget, click, and drag it. Since I have three columns already selected, we can see that when I mouse over one of the columns, an outline appears. And to get the widget to go inside the column, all you need to do is release your mouse. We can organize widgets however that we want to. One important feature that if you do not have it checked off, I suggest checking off auto save. If you don't have that checked off, an option will pop up asking you to save the dashboard. But to make your life easier, you can just click on auto save and the dashboard will automatically be saved in real time. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find me on LinkedIn at Brett Charmette.